One of the most common questions I see online about Final Cut Pro is, is it safe to update yet? It's a fair question because people are worried that their plugins will stop working, that their plugins will disappear, or there might be new bugs to deal with. But my short answer is, it's always safe to update, if you do it correctly. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have multiple versions of Final Cut Pro installed simultaneously, how you can easily roll back to a previous version of Final Cut Pro if you need to, and some best practices so you have a smooth transition to the latest version of Final Cut Pro. If you take a look at my applications folder, you can see that I have Final Cut Pro installed here, but I also have Final Cut Pro 10.6.5 and 10.6.10. .10. Now, why would I do this? My golden rule is to never update Final Cut Pro in the middle of a project. I don't want to be dealing with bugs, missing plugins or export issues when I'm on a deadline. So let's say I'm busy on a project for a client in version 10.6.5. I want to keep that project in 10.6.5 until it's fully complete. I have another client that I was sharing library files with who was working in 10.6.10. .10. But I also have version 10.7 because that's what I've been working on for my YouTube videos. Once I've used 10.7 enough and I'm confident it's stable, I'll start moving projects over to 10.7 and updating them, which I'll show you in a bit, and then I can remove the old version of Final Cut Pro. But there are two important things to do before you update the app. Number one is to make a Time Machine backup. With a Time Machine backup, if there are loads of bugs and plugin issues, you can always restore your Mac to the state it was in before. I personally do this before doing any major Mac OS update, especially when the OS update is required to update to the latest version of Final Cut Pro. Number two is to back up your plugins and effects. If you lose your entire collection of plugins and effects, reinstalling them will be a huge pain in the ass, especially if you have some free plugins that you need to go and find again. Speaking of free plugins, if you haven't already, please check out my website for the best free plugins for Final Cut Pro. I'll link to it in the description down below. I back up my plugins and effects by copying the entire motion templates folder in the movies folder to an external hard drive. If you update Final Cut Pro and lose all your plugins, you can simply just copy this folder back into the movies folder. A few days after updating, I normally delete this folder. I just want to make sure that I don't lose anything during the actual updating process. Now, let me show you how you can have multiple versions of Final Cut Pro installed at the same time. First, right click on the Final Cut Pro app and select Compress Final Cut Pro. This will zip the application up and I'll rename it to Final Cut Pro 10.7. Now I can head over to the App Store and update the app. As soon as it's done, you'll see that Final Cut Pro is now at version 10.7.1. If you double click to open up the zip file, you'll have a Final Cut Pro 2 app in the applications folder. Rename that to 10.7 and now you have multiple versions installed. You can't have multiple versions running at the same time though. Before you open any existing library in the new version of Final Cut Pro, you'll want to make a duplicate because you can't open up libraries in older versions of Final Cut Pro if they were created or opened in a newer version. So if you try to, you'll get this error message. If you want to test one of your existing projects to see if everything is working fine in the new version, I'd highly recommend hitting Command D to make a duplicate of the library, then add 10.7.1 or something like that to the name and double click to open the library file. Final Cut Pro will ask if it can update the library and when it's done, you can check your project to see if there are any issues. A common issue is plugins not working. If you have plugins from companies like Motion VFX or Pixel Film Studios, then try to repair or reinstall those plugins from their installer apps. For other third-party plugins like Color Finale, for example, make sure you update the plugin to the latest version or contact support if it's not working. For motion-based plugins, you might be able to fix that red plugin error on your own, and I talk about that in this video. I'll leave a link to it down below. If you follow these tips, you'll see that it's always safe to update Final Cut Pro because you can always just roll back to a previous version. If you enjoyed this video, then you need to check out this waveform hack that you can do from Final Cut Pro 10.7 onwards.